performance against Arizona last week, Al Harris. Well, I tell you what, one of the things that Joe is concerned about coming into this game, playing against Akron, you know, they built it up to such a fever pitch last week, Dave, that will they have that same emotion coming into this game this week? Are they too tight? Or are they intimidated? This is what we're going to find out today against this great Penn State team. And Akron, Forney will kick off. We'll send deep for Akron. Dwight Smith, number 15. And this kick will send him into the end zone, and he'll take a knee. First play, quick completion out on the near sideline, down over the 30, first down to the 30 fence. A defensive line, Courtney Brown, Fleischauer, Jason Wallace, and Kirpakis at the right defensive end. He had some big plays against Arizona. The linebacking core, three of the best they've ever had here. Arrington, Brandon Short, Mac Morrison. Macklin, one of the best cornerbacks in the country. Boy, Derek Fox, Anthony King. First down on their first play from Scrinage. Washington completes the pass, but it is broken up as a man is hit immediately over there by Anthony King. Penn State is known for its tremendous physical presence, and they bring the leather right, right away. So this time they put it on the ground. They got running room. The boy was closed up very nicely. Coming up was James Boyd. Washington on third down and seven. Swing pass, nothing there. Hit for a loss and dropped by Anthony King. I mean, I watch him. He gets his feet underneath him. Just pitch a perfect hit there. I and mean, this kid might be one of the best tacklers, if not the best tackler on Penn State's defense. Just gets his body underneath there, wraps him up. That's the perfect way to tackle for you guys. He gets it off. It's going to bound at the 20. Taken by Watson there. Eludes a couple of people, but nowhere to go. A couple of yards out, up over the 25-yard line. So the Nittany Lions will go on offense for the first time this afternoon. Cordell Mitchell, the tailback, the senior out of Syracuse. At tight end, and they like him a lot, Tony Stewart out of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Fields and Drummond completing the wide receiving core. The line, line that averages over 296, Blick, Cole, Spano, Tincher, McKenzie. First down for Penn State. First possession, hand up the middle, and Akron's defense swarms over them and stops him for a little or no gain on the first play. Penn State lost one on that play, the first from the line of scrimmage. Here's Kevin Thompson, throw complete. Wide open the receiver, and he's going to get a first down and a lot more. A big play out over midfield. Him a big block. Now watch Thompson take a nice hit there. But Crenshaw, this is what we talked about. Penn State, now they have those athletes can make those athletic plays and explode out of there. Look at the moves of Crenshaw right there. Freezes his number one defender right there and just blows by everyone. And this is what Penn State's looking for now. A couple of big plays by the Akron oh. defense. Can they hold on third down? Evan Thompson going to go deep, looks for Schaffee Field. Off Which is Washington, the quarterback. Rolling back under pressure, balls loose. Akron falls on it at the one-yard line. One of the best at his position in the country. Hand off up the middle at the goal line, stopped and shoved back into the end zone. Into the end zone. Gets the punt away. Watson will take it at the 45. And he's short of the 30, about the 30, 32 first down. The play fake, looking over the middle, complete to Shoffee Fields inside the 15 near the 10-yard line. So they can't come back across that middle. And you see Fields coming across. There's no one in the middle to help with that underneath it, though. Second down and six to go to Harris up the middle to the one-yard line. Barry was two yards away from a touchdown. to the end zone, Mike Saramelli. Saramelli out of Allentown. 31 yards, four-play drive and score. Aaron McCoo made a great block and sealed everyone on the inside on that play. Washington hands off. Good running room out over the 25 to the 27. Move the football occasionally here. Here they go on the counter play. Good running room out over the 40. Still on his feet near midfield. Still in the first quarter. McCrado this time doesn't have anywhere to go. Penn State brings him down. Brandon Short. 
Out to the flat. Incomplete. Well, Arrington comes in there. Now, there's, see, did he have possession of that ball? You're saying, did he have control over the fish? We have Casey in a quarterback, runs the reverse. And a lot of running room down the far side. Still on his feet down near the 40-yard line is Eddie Drummond. It's the line from up top. Penn State seals inside Aaron Harris. Great block there. Drummond comes flying around there. He turns on that 10, 300-meter speed. And you can see that's why Penn State, they've run a lot of reverses. Watch the moves there. It looked like he was tackled there, and he got out of there. Almost First down, Penn State at the Akron 40. And off up the middle, plowing and still on his feet and going inside the 30, inside the 25. Five. Seven to nothing. Shard Casey on the bootleg. Lot of running room. Casey, touchdown, Penn State. Rashard Casey, the junior out of Hoboken. Late. You know, that's Rashard Casey's first touchdown, rushing or passing. Well, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more before his career is done, don't you? I think there will be. Kept taken at the three. Up the middle, burst of speed. Nice run back over midfield. A minute left in the first quarter. Quick over the middle, complete. 14 to nothing late in the first quarter. Not much in that left side. On the pitch, Brandon Payne down for a loss of two. 39-yard field goal. It's got enough leg in it. It's right down the middle. Zach Durr puts Akron on the scoreboard, and Penn State leads it 14 to three. They'll have Casey a quarterback, hand off McCoo, but James, he makes it. Hit for a loss. And the ball pounces loose. Akron says they got it to the 37-yard line. Gromick, he'll throw. Got his man complete down for a first down or very close for Akron to Akron on third down and short. Gromick rolling, looking for the end zone. Out of the end zone. Over the receivers. Here. We have a dead ball. Personal foul, hit out of bounds, against the defense, half the distance. Line. Justin Kropinka's right there. Can't hit a guy. 10-08 to go. On the ground, big hole, touchdown, Damn. Akron. Brandon Payne cut against the grain. He had a hole. You could have driven a Mack truck through that thing. Akron, low squib kick, taken by Watson near the goal line. Looks for a block. Big return near midfield. Watson, as we talked about earlier, is their punt returner as well, has fine running skills. And watch that hole right there. He sees it, accelerates up the middle, does a nice cutback. And this is what Penn State needed a little bit here. They, I think they were a little three-yard return by Watson. On the ground. Stephon by McCurry, first down. It was cool here. Takes the ball and just breaks people down. Quick shake there. Just and there's a stiff arm as well. He shook down Nate Johnson there. Position at the Akron 35. To McCoo. Derek moves by McCoo to the 15. Second down and four. Inside the five for into the end zone. Mike Ceremelli again. As you watch that Penn State line just firing off the ball, getting movement there. Good block by McCoo. McCoo, you know, matter of fact, number eight, McCoo, he's had two. Second down and seven for Gromick and Akron. Over the middle, it's intercepted. Picked off and returned down to the 10 yard line by number 52, Daniels, a senior out of Alexandria, Virginia. He tried to go that quick right over the middle to the tight end. Daniels was right there waiting for him. They ran that play earlier and had success. was to John Gilmore, a sophomore. Our offense coordinator. Watch the poise there of the short case. Just sits back there, plenty of blocking. Nice throw right down the middle. Good catch by Gilmore. That big quarterback. 
Puts the ball on the ground, and there's nothing there. Kerbakis comes in there. He shoots down there low. Tackles for him. They go on the ground to pain, and he's going to go for maybe four or five yards out up over the 25. Eaton's punt is high. Watson at the 40. Hit and drop. Position for penalty. Nedney Lyons been penalized now four times for 27 yards. Thompson's pass caught at the 40. Let's see what they score two touchdowns and open up the lead now on third down. Thompson throws. Almost intercepted. The second quarter of this ball game today, no matter what. On the reverse, on a fourth down Ooh. play, and they don't get it. First down, excuse me, they had the first Ooh. down, <laughs> but right. Give Penn State a little of their own medicine with a reverse. Watch King, wham. Man, this guy can tackle. Watch this hit. Woo. He plays more like a safety than a long. Here they come, the protection is there. Throws Picked off by a scary Adams. He's gonna go. It's one of the things when you have a quarterback who hasn't played for a while, sometimes he doesn't read the defenses the way you want him to. Nascari Adams took full advantage of that. Just made a great play, read it. They knew it was third and long, so he could sit back there in the zone and made a great play reading the ball. Pointing there a little bit, got a touchdown. They have speed everywhere. It seems like almost every other They got right near the first one out. Well, that's the end of the first half. Akron kept it close until about the 10 minute mark of the second quarter. And the Nittany Lions have scored 21 unanswered points and lead it 35 to 10. These there, you can see four on Penn State side. That's one of the things you don't want, but the turnovers are a crucial thing that's hurting the Akron Zips right now. But Penn State, they've had a lot of their runs, two of, a lot of their yards off of two big runs. One on the reverse by Drummond, which was 40 yards, and another long run by uh, Casey. So I'm sure they want to establish those running backs and get some yardage with them as well. Once again, the big plays for Penn State, and they are in command of this ball game. As they're packed into Beaver Stadium this afternoon, it is all Penn State as we go to the second half. You're watching Big Ten. A little bit sluggish maybe in the first half, but towards the last 10 minutes of the second quarter, Penn State blew this game over with 21 points. Now they receive the opening kickoff of the second half. Watson out over starting a quarterback as he did the ball game. Shard Casey came in and contributed two touchdowns. And Thompson uncorks one on the first play of half. The bomb, the touchdown, Penn State to Eddie Drummond, the speedy wide receiver. And just like that, off the clock, and Penn State's on the scoreboard. Well, he was matched against Morgan Russell. I was wondering where Dwight Smith was on that play. And when you got somebody like Eddie Drummond that has that kind of world-class speed, you're not going to get anywhere near him. And just the easy touchdown, I mean, he ran away from him like there was no tomorrow there. 71 yards to Drummond, his second reception. And Butchie Washington. The bottom of your screen, the screen on the second down play. Butchie Washington chase, and down he goes for a loss. The king, the key on that was um, King and um, boy, they jumped that quick route because Here's they kept going that. Assuming right now, in motion, Eric McCoo. And off. Running around the right end. And picking up yards is up second down and one. Aaron Harris, he's got the first down over the 30, got a lot more and bowls his way over the. Play action fake. Kevin Thompson, long pass. <laughs> As he hit Bryant Johnson, number 24, a freshman out of Baltimore, another speedy receiver. Well, the thing I'm not only impressed by him, but Kevin Thompson stands back in the pocket. He's getting ready to take a lick here in the back, but keeps his poise. Throws another beautiful strike to the freshman Johnson. And Johnson, as you shared, can run like the wind. And Penn State is just demonstrating their big. University. And we'll look at more scores later on as the kick taken near the goal line. Whoa, a big hit put on the runner at the 15-yard line. You got to run to that guy before you look back for the ball. Butchie Washington, a quarterback. Short gain off the 
Third and long, Washington scrambling, throwing up field. Intercepted. Picked off by number six, James Boyd. The two wide outs, Crenshaw in motion. Casey, lots of time to fight the Crenshaw at the 30, first down at the 28. Oops, somebody's moving. Caramelli, the ball carrier. Ace, uh, Watch this block here. Oh. That was a beautiful block by Caruso there, number 74. I mean, he just... Cruz a sophomore. Easy and Johnson after that. The Coons going skyward to score. The guy can do it all. On this leap here. Talk about the LaVar leapers. The Coon leap. But the line does a good job. Get that movement. And see, that gives the running back a chance to launch over that line. I mean, he's too explosive not to put it in his hands. And not only has he done a great job running the ball, I mean, he's been blocking, and uh, he's, he's a total package. McCoo carried only three times against Arizona, but today with six carries, he's uh, scored a touchdown and put some numbers up. Washington with a little counter. It's a few yards on third down. The Zips will have to punt the ball away. Right now, Watson had been back there. Alley fumbled a snap. This is Eaton running out of the punt formation and picking Number up the first down. Eaton with a first down on the 47. Butchie Washington eluding and throwing the ball away. The first down for Akron. On the ground, they solve it very quickly. On the pick. Third down now for Akron on the pass play complete for the first game. A quarter to go though. Akron threatening to get into the end zone again on the pitch to Gray and he's hauled down on a nice play from behind by Sean Mayer, number 22 and three. Lost it for the end zone. Tried to get it to Jake. But you watch him and throws for the touchdown. He got it. Completes the ball to Tim Ritley, the tight end. A sophomore out of Perry, Ohio. 15, Matt Seneca, redshirt freshman out of Allentown. He hands it off to Omar Easy. Third down. At about four. Seneca. He can scramble to pick up the first down. He's got it in more. Down the sideline, Matt Seneca knocked out of bounds near the 25. Knock here by Tyler Linda. Matt does a good job. There's no one out there. And now he has number 15, Dwight Smith, coming after him. And he shows Dwight some speed there. Dwight's the best athlete on their defense, and he just about Run ran away from Seneca. him. Plowing <laughs> down there. And they got the first down. And a lot more down to the five-yard line. And touchdown by Blauser. And that'll be the first of his career for the sophomore. And a big, big lead. Young Blauser just keeps those shoulders low, driving his feet. Wow, look like. Run by Morgan. This is... Washington throwing along the sidelines, incomplete. Inside eight minutes to go. And a lot of players on third down and 19 now. Getting that feeling here today, Butchie Washington lost one towards the end zone, and he got his man. Nice catch in the end zone. Lavelle Bailey, number 88. The kick it to Larry Johnson. He spouses it outside. Out of over the 40. Omar Easy. Nice move over midfield. Easy is going to make an easy stride to the end zone. Big back, he's 245 pounds. He doesn't run like a 245. Look at that cut on the inside there. Waits for his blocking to get down there and just takes off. 
Look at him stride. Kick it up and do a little Deion Sanders there. Striding on in. <laughs> you know him from. Yeah, keep. Yeah, he was pretty feisty player for uh, the Broncos and the Packers, toe to toe. Chad Crowell, the quarterback for Penn State, the fourth Penn State quarterback of the afternoon here at Penn State. Manning is hit, dropped at the 20. As the clock moves inside, 20 seconds now. There's the son, Jay Turner. And that's going to be it. They're going to let the clock run down. And Penn State moves to 2 0 on the year as Joe Paterno and Leo and shake hands at the conclusion of this football game. Well, you know, if you're Penn State, you're going into uh, next week with Pittsburgh. You, you got to be fired up. You got to be ready for Pittsburgh. You can't make the mistakes you made against Akron. You're a lot better football team than Akron. Well, that wraps it up now from Penn State. Once again, the final score from Beaver Stadium, Penn State 70 and Akron 24. For Al Harris, I'm David Sullivan. Have a great day. Today's game has been a presentation of ESPN. McCray with 43 yards, Payne with 32 yards. They've clocked up well today for Joe Paterno. Only five completions for Thompson, but 188 yards. That's a